What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Breaking news coming out of the Cascadia subduction zone. In fact, right here in this exact area along the fault line off the Pacific Northwest, within 25 minutes of each other, last night there was a large 5.9 earthquake coming in at 5.6 miles deep at 12.52 a.m. off Gold Beach, Oregon at 1.17 a.m. on June 4th. Earthquake of 5.9 magnitude at 9 miles deep. Following the first earthquake, just 25 minutes later, in between, there was a 3.9. And there's been a few aftershocks since the two 5.9s that were 25 minutes apart. And those 5.9s were picked up by seismographs all across the country. In fact, at various locations around the world, because they were so shallow, Right here is the area of the earthquakes. If we go there on Google Earth, you can see there's a seamount in that area. See it right there? It's a small one, but right here is where the earthquakes occurred, directly off of the coast of Oregon. The large earthquakes did send one buoy into event mode. You can see right here in the same exact location. In fact, we'll zoom in and take a closer look. And it is right in the center of the recent earthquake activity. Not a large tsunami, which is good. However, the buoy did detect the movement and it sent the buoy into event mode. Anytime you see a buoy flashing yellow like that, that means it has detected some sort of activity in the ocean that is more than likely related to some sort of a tsunami. Uh, so far, so good. No large reports of any big tsunamis. This is what a tsunami would look like if it originated from the Cascadia subduction zone. This is a map from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. And you can see a significant quake could easily send a tsunami all the way across the southwestern Pacific Ocean, covering thousands of miles. That was definitely not the case here. There were two strong earthquakes, but they were not large enough to create a tsunami like that. The aftershocks following the 5.9s. In fact, there was one in between the 5.9. I'm just going to go directly to the epicenter. You can see there was a 5.9, followed by a 3.9. 25 minutes later, another 5.9. 4.2 and then a 3.2 that's the activity we've seen right now up to this point the 3.2 happening a little less than two hours ago and here's a map of the earthquakes over here at the PNSN this would be the Pacific Seismic Network you can see the earthquakes right there very close to the coast of Oregon two 5.9s overnight coming in very shallow allowing them to be picked up on seismographs not only across the United States but I'm seeing the primary waves around the world. You can see over here in Cuba, the Dominican Republic shows both. That's the first 5.9. There's the second, Honduras. Small activity picked up over in the China region. Um, not near as big, but nevertheless, I mean, that's thousands of miles away up in Alaska, which I would expect. New Mexico, look at the tall spikes over here in New Mexico. Even picked up over in Turkey on the other side of the world. Obviously here in Missouri, the energy did go all across the United States. Look down here in Casey, Antarctica. That's Antarctica. Definitely picked up the activity from the 5.9 earthquakes. We're going to continue on. This is, this is interesting. Florida, both earthquakes, both 5.9s detected in Florida. In fact, it looks like there was more activity on the seismos farther away from the epicenter of the 5.9s than closer, as I'll show you. See the activity here in Florida on the seismograph? When we look at the Oregon seismograph, it doesn't look near as active. Seismograph over here in the Ukraine picked up the energy. Finland, all around the world. Midway Island, USA, that would be out in the Pacific. Very strong signatures from both the 5.9s. Ecuador, Spain even felt the energy. Now we're going to get down into the United States seismos and look all across the country. Montana, I don't know what's going on up here in Wyoming and Montana. This seismograph here has been very, very unusual for the last several weeks. In fact, probably the last two or three months. You can see a big spike in Wyoming, Idaho. Idaho's got another big spike. Another one in Wyoming. Maine, New Hampshire, New York. This energy was picked up on seismographs easily all across the country. Those are respectable signatures. Look, there's Ohio, Texas. Big tall signature there in Virginia. You would think that was close to the epicenter by looking at it because I'm going to show you one from the Oregon area. All of these are across the United States. And we're going to get up to the Oregon area. 
right down here here's one from oregon and you can see the energy close to the epicenter looks pretty much the same as it did across the country but as you can easily see mississippi to twin peaks that's from both the 5.9s that were very shallow the energy traveled thousands of miles rather quickly all across the united states and according to these seismographs the energy was picked up all around the world even over at the yellowstone supervolcano caldera look right here flag ranch there's both 5.9s right there. And we're going to look at some other seismos. Oddly enough, the seismographs did not pick up all of the earthquake energy. And I'm very surprised. Huh. Some activity here. That's localized earthquake activity at the supervolcano. Down here's the 5.9s at the bottom up here towards the center. That's localized activity. Those are the 5.9s. I don't see the 5.9s anywhere else at the moment. They could update, though, as we move on throughout the course of the day. There's the 5.9s right there and right there. So the activity has shown up over here even at the Yellowstone supervolcano and I'll look for those to update as we move throughout the course of the day. Quick look at the Schumann resonance and you can see there's been a brief spike in the Schumann resonance and they almost coincide with the earthquake activity. See that right there? fairly close. You've got a spike there and a spike there. And we've also seen two significant earthquakes off the coast of Northern California and Southwestern Oregon in the last five or six hours. Whether or not that's related, don't know, but it is definitely a coincidence. But once again, two large earthquakes, 5.9 each, 25 minutes apart, very shallow in the Cascadia subduction zone off the coast of Oregon and Northern California. Definitely a location to watch, and we'll be keeping a close eye on that all day long. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.